Hey warriors, welcome to Yoga Blast. I am Laurie here with Pancake and Simba today for a playful practice, um, Playtime Yoga Blast, where the focus is on fun. When's the last time you had fun? Whether it was with your practice, with your workout, just with your day, anything that you were doing. When's the last time you felt joyful about what you were doing? So while we're moving and playing with our bodies and minds today, it's all I'm gonna ask is that you focus on the fun. So we'll lighten up and light up with play today. So let's settle in and just take a comfortable seat, one leg in front of the other, and you can switch up that cross to go to the side you may not go to all the time. Sit on the blanket and throughout this playtime, please use props. Simba's already on his blanket because he just likes that. Um, bricks, you can use books, um, pillows, bolsters, anything you need to do to make this a more enjoyable experience for you. So let's start by taking a deep clearing breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, sigh. In through the nose, out through the mouth. One more. And as you begin to take your focus inside a little more, first notice your surroundings, your external environment, any sight, sound, smells, any vibrations, anything you can notice. And then begin to let that fade away as you allow your eyes to close. Take a breath in all the way down through your root and wiggle down to accentuate that support, that rootedness, that groundedness, being in the moment, being here and now. Exhale, elongate a little bit through the vertebrae, through the crown of the head. Implement a little wobble, anything just to get you a little more relaxed, a little more in focus to the now. So paying attention to those little fine feelings or sensations, being curious about what's going on in your mind and your body, and looking at it as a child would, playfully, with curiosity, what is there? What's behind that door? With each breath, root down a little bit more. Exhale, hug and lift, press the breath out. Clear some clutter away. Make room for yourself to be a free expression, to be playful. So soften where you can soften. Anything you feel that is tightness, tension, that just doesn't feel right, let the exhalation take it away. So coming around into your heart space, you can press your thumbs into this area to accentuate the focus and bring in that intention to be playful. To be curious, to have some fun. Beautiful. I am playful. Another breath for some gratitude. 
and let's start moving. You can keep your eyes closed or gently open. Let's start swaying, allowing your body just to begin to move and breathe in and out through the nose. Implementing a little more heat as you inhale down, hug and lift, press the breath out a little more deliberately from that pelvic floor up. So right here, just any movements that feel good to you, let your arms move however they want to move. Twist and spin and roll. Beautiful. Breathe in up. Big inhalation and spread it out. Inhale the arms up and spread that energy. One more. And now we're going to come over to all fours. Curl your toes under and Take your booty up to a down dog. Give it a few playful walk as you bend one knee, then the other. Take that dog for a walk. Swag a shoulder, get some sass involved. Wiggling hips is encouraged. Let's roll this out to a plank. So Elongate that spine, wonderful. Tap the knees down, shrug the shoulders back and lower. Inhale, press your pubic bone into the floor. Exhale, pick yourself, heel yourself up off the mat. And let's take this back to a down dog again. Inhale, you know it's coming. Give it a lion's breath. Open your mouth, stick out your tongue and roar. And then walk or hop your feet up, wave your spine long. So your feet are just under your hips. Give yourself a little wave here, bend your legs and find a flow. Beautiful, let's take those hands up onto your thighs and a few cat and cows here. So arch and arc round that back, exhale. Arch it, bring the heart through, chin up. And be sure to give yourself the time to warm up. So let your body create some heat, generate some heat before you really get these movements to intensify. One more here. Press down into your heels. Draw yourself all the way up, up onto those toes. And let's take it down. Wave the spine long again, strong fingertips down. Step back to a down dog. Inhale, exhale. Lion's breath. Let's move this energy through to a plank. Tap those knees down. Lower. Inhale it up. Back to a down dog. Bend your arms, bend your legs, and take that right leg up. Beautiful. Bring your knee in towards your nose. And back up. Bring it in towards your nose again. Exhale. One more. Bring it in, and this time step it toward the right thumb. Wave your spine long. Beautiful. And press down through your feet. Lift yourself up. Take it up. Exhale. Hug this up by down. Brent, <laughs> having trouble talking today. And bring it up again. Let's take that again. <laughs> Bend that back leg. This up down to your waist. Beautiful. And then elongate through that back leg. <sighs> Take it down, roar. Right leg's gonna come back up and back down to a down dog. Bend your arms, bend your legs, and take that left leg up. Exhale, knee to chest. Bring it back up. Bend your arms in, bend that leg. Knee into chest. Bring it in again. And this time step the left foot toward the left thumb. Find some space as you wave that spine long again. Bend your back leg. Take yourself up. High lunge and bring it down. Being sure your knee is not coming past your toes in the front. And exhale. A good, um, if there's a rule in this, the knees, toes follow the line of your knee. So whichever direction, take this down, hug <laughs> your knee. 
is facing, toes go the same. Then you'll be in your proper alignment. Back to a down dog. Inhale. Exhale. A little hop toward the front of your mat. Again, feet are under your hips, not all the way up the front of your mat. Wave the spine long. Take it up. And back down. Find some length in that spine again. Hop it back. Beautiful. Bend your arms, bend your legs, and twist your knees to the left, back to center, twist them to the right, back to center, left, and right. Exhale it, one more left, one more right, back to center, and bend your arms, bend your legs, take that right leg back up. This time bring your knee to the outside, to that right shoulder. You can do this with your knee, left knee down too. So again, be creative, be playful, Back to the outside. One more. And take it up. This time, step your foot to the outside of your right hand. Beautiful. Right arm's gonna come up, left arm's under your shoulder. Bend that back leg and extend. Right arm comes around the back. Exhale, inhale it up. Exhale it down. Inhale it up. One more. Beautiful. Right leg will come back, left leg up, twist. Left leg back, right leg up, twist. So, just a few little twisty planks here. Last one. Take this back to a down dog. Inhale, exhale with a lion's breath. Next time you inhale, Bend and then extend that left leg up. Exhale, knee to the left shoulder or just to the outside. Bend and squeeze, exhale as you bring that leg in. Right knee can be down. One more this time. Step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Right arm's gonna come under your shoulder and extend the left arm up. Bend that back leg, exhale. Inhale it up. Bending the leg, rotate that left arm around. Inhale it up. One more. Beautiful, take it back down. Right leg's gonna come up this time, twist and back. Left leg, twist and back to plank. One more, right leg come up, twist, back to plank, left leg, and back. Back to your down dog. And hop toward the center of your mat, wave your spine long, and take yourself up. Awesome, hope you're starting to generate some heat there, because we're gonna start kicking and punching, punching and flowing a little more playfully so, reminder not to lock out your joints when you're punching and kicking. Take this again at your own level, mix it up, and um, have some fun, smile. So crank some music up. We're gonna start with some jabs. So stepping right, punching light, right. Left arms up, and so step and punch. Step and punch. So as you're Exhaling, bring in that hug and lift and engage your core. You can tell when you're just there and really letting it flow. But have some um, engagement, give yourself some power. You can playfully have power, left arms up or wherever you want it, but bring awareness. Be in here in this moment, know what your body's doing. You can jump this a little more some hip into it again if you have the music going maybe you can keep a beat to the music <sighs> exhale exhale as you punch <sighs> nice so do three more two more last one give it an inhale step out to the right goddess squat back to center baby chair and to the left 
to the right, center, baby chair. Be sure with these you're taking your booty back. Your weight is in your heels and these are behind your toes. And also, toes are in line with your knees. So if you're feeling it in your joints, change your alignment a bit so you feel it in your muscle. One more to the right, center, left, center, take a breath. <sighs> Jab on the left. So step and punch. And you really can, really can activate here. Squeeze, hug, and lift. You can snap this, but notice I'm not locking my joints. So it's not full extension there. That would hurt. So you can keep it stepping. Try not to step on Simba. Add some sass. Again, smile. Have some fun with this. We take things so seriously sometimes and it gets heavy. So try and lighten up here. Even when it gets a little challenging. Smile, breathe, lion's breath. Be silly, lighten up, back to center. Take it to the left, squat it out, center. So if you wanna change this into a hop, squat it out, hop back to center. Or stay with the step and step. So I know my heart rate's getting up now and I'm changing it up to some mouth breathing. My body is appreciating the extra oxygen intake, so switch it as you need as well. One more. Inhale it up. Take a breath here to pause and take that heart rate down just a bit. Okay, enough. <laughs> So we are going to step to the left of your mat a bit and take two of those jabs to the right, two to the left. Give it a little shuffle. Punch, punch. Shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. Punch, punch. So again, this, you're light on your toes. You should be pounding your landing. You want to make it a little bigger if you have. How about we throw a jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, and cr jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. So right jab, left cross, left jab, right cross. I forgot to punch. <laughs> and. Yeah, sometimes I get a little uh, mixed up when I'm trying to teach and describe and do this. So, you got this. As long as you're moving and playing, it's all good. We'll do one more. Nice. Take it up. Step to the top of your mat and we'll take this Awesome energy through a vinyasa. Wave your spine long. Fingertips down real strong. Spread those hands wide. Hop it back. Wave your spine long. Tap your knees down. And take it through. Maybe do an up dog. At this point, I'm sure you're warm. Give it an inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Inhale it again. Exhale. Bend your arms, bend your legs, and extend the right leg up in towards your chest. Take it back up, bring it in again. And one more, these core planks are awesome. Step your right foot towards your right thumb. Bend your back leg and wave your spine long. Spin over your left shoulder to the long edge of your mat and ninja lunge it out here for a bit. Resetting your hips. Hands can be on the floor, in the air. Make something up. In between, a little 
air painting, floor painting, with your fingertips, take it back to center. Booty comes back as you take it up. Back to your goddess temple squat. Pop it in, pop it out. You can step this or hop this. So again, side to side steps. And back. One more. And let's hop it out again. Take the front foot, the right foot toward the front. Back foot's just going to turn in a bit comfortable with your knee. Excuse us, Simba. Turn your heart. Let your hips stay facing the way they're facing, a little on an angle. And just turn your chest and your heart for warrior one. Beautiful. Take a breath here. And you're gonna fold over, let the back heel come up as you fly into a warrior three. So bend this now, bend that standing leg. Arms can be back out to the side or in front. So you choose, it'll change up the, <clears throat> the amount of um, tension on your shoulders the amount of activation. Beautiful. And take that back down, stretch out back to a warrior two. Beautiful. Inhale back, exhale it down around. Warrior two on the other side. We're gonna lift up on that back foot and just place it down again in a natural angle. Angled in so your knee is following your toe. Hips are gonna be angled a bit. You don't wanna yank your hips toward the front of your mat, just spin your shoulders and find a warrior one here. Beautiful, breath or two here. Don't overextend the arch, leave some integrity in that core. And then flow down, spin that back leg around and find your balance point for your warrior two. I'm um, warrior three, excuse me. Arms, again, can be wherever as you bend and extend. It's helpful to press down and squeeze up through the core. Yeah. So let's do three more bends. Reach through that back leg as well. Beautiful, and step it back, oh so gracefully, into a warrior two. Take it back, and down, and around, back to warrior two on the other side. Spin in, because we're gonna have more fun with this. Take it down, back into your warrior three. This time, as you bend, bring that left leg toward the front, and knee up. Back down to warrior three, bring the knee up, back to warrior three, press down, lift up. And then if this is going fabulously for you, change that knee up into a kick. <laughs> knee up, front kick. And exhale, press. And let's do one more. Hello, right hip. Back to warrior two. Exalted water, warrior, take it back. Down, let that head hang. Wave it back and forth if you want. Back to your warrior two on the other side. Spin around on that back foot. Step up until you find your balance in your warrior three. Extend through the toes and press down. Extend, lift up through that right leg. Take it down, bend, press, and knee up. And again, if balance is not cooperating, come out of it, shake it out, reestablish, use a wall. <clears throat> if you're totally rocking it, 
You can change the front knee up into a front kick. The knee comes up, kick through the ball of your right foot. So again, notice I'm bending and extending that supporting leg as I change. So a little bend, bring the knee up and extend. Last one. Step yourself back for your two, hug and lift. Take it back, exalted warrior. Down and around. Warrior two, exalted. This time, let's come back to the top. Take yourself to a plank and take it through a vinyasa. So however you want to get back to your down dog, you can take a pause through child or take a pause in down dog. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Hop on up toward the center of your mat. Feet under hips. Wave your spine long. Bend again and come up. Yeah. Take it up again. Wave it down. Hop it back. And not all the way back to a plank. Then hop it forward. Take it up. Hop it back. Somewhere between a down dog and a plank. A little less jarring than taking it back to plank. So safe joints. Prayer burpees. Yeah, I snuck them in. Take it back up. So if this is not quite enough fun for you, throw a hop in. Take it up. Chair and hop. If you want even more fun, take it to your chair, give it a hop, come back down to your chair and front kick right, front kick left. Yeah, <laughs> take it back. Hop, front kick right, squat, front kick left. Take it back, one more, hop, front kick right, squat, front kick left. Inhale it up and release something down. Wave your spine long and fold. Hop it back to your down dog. Inhale, exhale, lion's breath. Take it through vinyasa. Wave your spine long. Beautiful. Tap knees down, leave your belly lifted, shoulders back. And if you're an up dog, if you wanna try pointed plank, just roll over the tops of your pointed toes. To your beautiful down dog. Inhale, exhale. Bend your arms, bend your legs. Right legs coming up as you inhale. As you exhale, bring it in towards your chest. Step that right foot towards your right thumb. Bend the back leg. Wave. <clears throat> Excuse me. Take yourself around your left shoulder. Back to the front of your mat. Bend. Take your booty back. Get a little bounce. You know, if you want to twerk, it's now, the t now the t is the time. <laughs> Have some fun. Are you having fun? Are you smiling? Or are you tense and saying, I have to do this, I have to push through? <sighs> Take a breath, sigh it out. Because <clears throat> we're going in for some more fun. Step toward the right foot um, on a little angle. And I'm gonna bring that wide squat, sumo squat, Kali squat. Back in, step back toward the right foot, right side kick. So take it back, step it in, <clears throat> right leg's gonna come up and kick. You can keep it with just the leg lift, where your foot and knee are coming up at the same time, or bring the foot up, kick through the heel. So a little turn, so the kick's coming from your core through your right hip and all that energy out your right heel. And exhale, lean a little to the left as you kick.
Maybe you can speed it up if you can stay in your alignment. Step, step, kick, squat. Last one, hold it at the side kick and <laughs> come back into it if you fall out. We'll give a few balanced, somewhat side kicks here. And side out in warrior two. Take it back, exalted warrior. A little play time. Back and around. <clears throat> Back and around. Exalted. And warrior two. This time we're gonna change direction and vinyasa on the other side of our mat. So the back of the mat becomes the front. <sighs> Give an inhale. <sighs> Exhale, lion's breath and wave. <sighs> Tap your knees down lower. Find your way back to your down dog. Beautiful. Give it an inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Lion's breath. Press into your legs. Bend. Inhale the left leg up. Knee in toward your chest. <sighs> up super high. Step the left foot toward the left hand. Wave your spine long. Take it back around to the center. And take it up. Back to that Kali squat temple. And we're going to do some speed bags here. So this is the best ever I can do a speed bag, pretending it's there. So get that rhythm as you thump, 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 thump. <laughs> you are so awesome. So as you're doing that, hug and lift. Give yourself some support. Nice. So let's move this. Wave it down and back up. Reverse directions with your hands without kicking, hitting yourself in the face. And back up, reverse directions again. To the right, take it up, down to the left, over to the right, down, back up to the left, take it down to the right, up to the right, down to the left, switch directions, take it back up to the right, down to the right, down the left, back to center, wave it up. We'll wave it down, wave it up, and stretch it up. <sighs> Release something. Hop yourself back in. Hop yourself back out. Back in, back out. And exhale. <clears throat> kind of like these hops today. <laughs> Again, you can step them. Don't have to hop them. One more out. One more in, take it up, and bring yourself back to a warrior two. Exalted, have some fun, wave it back down, shake it back, wave your spine forward to a plank. This time, tap your right knee down, tap your left, tap your right, tap your left, tap your right, tap your left, lead up. Lower belly engaged, so up to your spine. Beautiful. One more right, one more left. Both knees tap down, and both knees tap up. Up. Nice. This time, lead both knees down and finish your flow into your down dog. Beautiful. Give it an inhale, give it an exhale. Inhale it again. Exhale it again. And hop yourself to the front-ish of your mat. So again, knees or, or feet are just coming under your hips. Wave it. Bend that booty and take yourself, stick the booty out, bring yourself up. Lower down. And you're gonna front right kick, front left kick. You can do these without the squats and just right and left kick it. Knee comes up, no matter what you're doing. I might throw an opposite punch in. So, left kick, right straight punch. Get 
And then exhale. You can twist it. That's fun. And the last one, that side, the last one, that side. Bring it down, inhale it up. You are a rock star today. We're gonna do one final little blast of fun <laughs> before taking it down. So we're gonna take those right kicks. I'm gonna go a little to the side so you can see. And right knee comes up, a little hop over, left knee comes up. So just transferring the weight onto the other side. If that's feeling good, turn that left knee up into a left kick. There you go. Or just keep it a knee up. Do eight more. Seven, six, five, four, you got this. Three, two, oh yeah. Inhale up, because you know we're going on the other side. Lines breath it out. This time, oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Left knee's gonna come up and hop over to the right. Yeah. <coughs> so left knee up, I'm going backwards. <laughs> and right knee comes up. Left knee, hop to the, onto the left foot. Right knee up. Exhale. Bring those arms down, fist of fire. Change it into a kick when you're ready. So the right front kick. For eight more. Seven more. Six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Oh yeah, last one. Big inhale up, exhale, fold forward, wave it. <laughs> Take those arms behind you and clasp. Give your shoulders a little squeeze. So a little playful movement here as you let your heart rate come down and back to center. Just gonna come over the front foot, the right foot's facing forward. Take that leg back and go through your version of a vinyasa. Taking it down. <clears throat> and so if your breath is settled, so however that looks to you, wave it, flow it, Gentle movement, and when you feel ready, settle it all the way down to a well-deserved child. Use support, use a blanket, use a brick. Use your hands under your forehead. Pillows, if you're not supporting yourself with your hands, maybe you take them back along the sides. And just enjoy. Enjoy the peace, that vibrant, peaceful energy that you've created. Feeling a little lighter as your light shines brighter. And when you're ready, wave yourself back up and down. Wave it back up and take it down. So sitting all the way now, scooch up to the front of your mat. And we're gonna move this, giving yourself a bit of a massage here. So rolling, I love, love, love doing this after an intense practice. You can picture yourself maybe rolling down a hill as a kid. Oh heck, why not? Through a meadow of blooming 
lilies <laughs> or irises or sunflowers, just depending on the season it is in your mind. Bring yourself all the way down. Give yourself a hug. And take your feet down now and just let that glorious sun in that field shine on you as you become even lighter. Plug in here to your higher power, whoever you or whatever you turn to for guidance which hint, hint, it's actually you. We're all connected. We are source. We are, we are it. So tap in, plug in, and see what you need for the next few minutes. Where does your body need to go? If you want to turn this into a bridge, and pressing down through your heels, extend your hips up, lift your arms over your head, back down. If your body needs to go someplace else, please allow it. We can play together. I always love when kids get together, especially little ones. They want to get together and play, but they're in their, they're in their separate areas of the room. And they just want to be with each other not necessarily doing the same thing. So tap into that, exchange energies here, and see where you need to go individually. And sometimes it's the same as you're the person you're with, sometimes not. So I'll just pause here with you for a few moments and play. It doesn't even have to be a yoga pose. So if you need a little more play time, please Press pause and continue. And when you're ready to come back, give yourself another hug. And let's take this into a gentle spinal twist as you let your knees drop to the left. Arms are extended out to the side. Soften everything you can soften. And let your head go over to the right. And pause here for a few breaths. When you're ready, inhale your head to neutral. Exhale, press those legs up to the center and over to the other side. Soften, sigh into the earth. Let the head come over the left shoulder. A few breaths here as you Continue to settle in. Again, when you are ready, inhale your head to neutral. Exhale, give yourself some support as you bring your knees back to the center. Another hug. And find yourself a nice, relaxing spot in that meadow, on that beach wherever your happy spot is. <sighs> Supported with blankets, bolsters, anything you need, and allow yourself just to soften and release with each breath. Let go of something a little bit more. Press pause again. And give yourself at least three to five minutes, even longer if you have the time. And allow 
allow your body to cool down and regroup in this neutral alignment. And when you're ready, join me back to seal your practice. And as you are ready to bring yourself back, deepening your breath, bringing that magical playfulness with you as you wiggle fingers and toes, big body stretch, anything you need, then to gently bring yourself back as you roll over to one side, supporting yourself bringing yourself back to a comfortable seat and sitting on a blanket on a brick just your tush on the earth and take a few breaths here a few joyful playful breaths as you remind yourself to relax soften where you can soften so you can open. Focus on fun. Be curious, be playful about the things that are coming to you. Explore. So find that path. I always think of, again, kids as they try to go from point A to point B and they notice everything along the way. We think they're getting distracted when I think they're just focused on where they are. They'll get there, but right now this is where they are. So they notice the butterfly or the caterpillar or the blade of grass that looks cool along the way. So see what you can notice along your way wherever your journey is taking you. But be in the moment, bring a smile, bring some joy into your life. And with that, a breath of gratitude to be grateful for who you are, where you are, and the amazing energy that you are. I hope you are a little lighter, a little more lit, and smile. It raises your vibration. Beautiful. Thank you for joining me today. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way home. Satnam. I am truth. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste.